totally hear you and I'm not even gonna pretend like I understand what you're going through, but this has happened before and it's been fine. So just go into the bathroom, pee on the stick, wait a bit, go back into the bathroom and just let me know and I'm right here. Oh, I gotta go. I know, but I have to go. It's time for final thoughts and a sincere thank you to Rachel Maddow. Oh, fuck. I really do want to take a moment to thank her, assuming she has chosen her as the acceptable pronoun. <laughs> nice one. Because she's got a girl name, but short hair. So it's like maybe a moment for a transphobic joke. See, last night, Rachel Maddow demonstrated how excessive bitterness could actually cause a person to help the very president she hates oh so much. Last night, Maddow dropped a real bombshell, in case you missed it. We saw it. What I have here uh. Uh, is a copy of Donald Trump's tax returns. We have his federal tax return for one year, for 2005. I believe this is the only set of the president's federal taxes that reporters have ever gotten a hold of. Uh, what we have are these two pages, front and back. Front and so back? Okay, we got it. You might have filled out when you file your taxes. That just actually um, that makes me think of, here, of how I didn't basics. do my taxes um, this year. Aside yes. from the numbers being large, uh, these pages are straightforward. Basically, you fucked with our heads last night. Let's, turn, let's right turn this off. Of $103 million. More on that later. Tommy, let's just shut uh, it if off. If you add up the lines for income, he made more than $150 million in that year. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, indeed. I made $2,270 from a production of Lucky Stiff, a musical, and uh, $680 by a company called Sockeye Media. So that was my full year's pay. All right. Wow. Cue the applause. Rachel, you broke some major news with that. Like the fact that President Donald Trump, the man you've spent two years demonizing for his wealth, paid a higher tax rate than the sham network that employs you. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. He paid a higher tax rate than your anointed family, the Obamas. Okay, but that kind of makes sense because in 2005, Obama was just a senator and he would have been making a lot less than Donald Trump, who was this successful businessman and reality TV star and person who was selling steak and board games and fake college degrees. He paid more than your socialist icon, Bernie Sanders. Don't you dare bring Bernie into this. Oh, and to those like Bernie Sanders who have built a political career on a utopia of socialism and demonizing the wealthy, here's a little lesson in economics. Rich people create multinational corporations like Walmart that refuse to pay their workers a living wage. Jobs. Okay. Rich people flood billions of dollars into our political system in exchange for influence and access. Fund your precious entitlements. Mm. Rich people pay a hell of a lot more in taxes than most Americans make in 10 lifetimes. Honey, that's because they make more than most Americans will make in 10 lifetimes. That's the, that's the issue. Do you see that? And yes, rich people pay their fair freaking share. No, they freaking don't. Thanks to Maddow, we now know how generous President Trump truly is. <sighs> So what do we learn from all of this? I guess we learned that under capitalism, the media will exploit everything from snowstorms to tax returns from 2005. All we learned is that our president is a baller, a rich baller who made a crap ton of money and yes, paid a crap ton in taxes. That's called a big league, not so secret secret. And Maddow must be sweating in her mannish pantsuit today because she looked like a jackass. <laughs> okay, nice. Bringing it back to that earlier transphobic joke. Very cool. And because leftist whack jobs can never admit they're wrong, they have now come out in force with claims that President Trump himself may have leaked his own documents. Can y'all ever just own your crap? Oh, I'm owning it. I'm owning it all, baby. Rachel Maddow. You did me dirty. Will you ever get over this anti-Trump stick? Oh, I think you mean shtick. Stick? So you're saying stick. Stick? S-H shtick. Stick? Yeah, you're still saying stick. What you're doing is not news. You're embarrassing yourselves. I know, but you're not doing news either. Those are my final thoughts. And from Dallas, God bless. Take care. <laughs>